guys, it's Angela Kim from thesquishymonster.com and today I'm going to share with you something that is one of my favorite drinks to indulge in in the summertime and I thought why not turn it into a cookie. So today we're making a bright and tasty strawberry lemonade cookie. The very first thing you want to do is cream together your softened room temperature unsalted butter, meaning that you've set it out at room temperature for about an hour and you want it to be the consistency of scoopable ice cream. That way everything will blend together really nicely, you don't get hard lumps, and then you want to combine that that with your sugar. I have a combination of brown sugar and regular granulated sugar. You can make your own brown sugar by mixing together molasses and sulfur with regular granulated sugar or you can opt out of it and just use regular granulated sugar all throughout. If you don't have a mixer, you can achieve the creaming process by kind of pressing or smashing down a spatula into the butter and combining the sugar and butter until it's nice, soft, and fluffy and cohesive. And it's just important to do this for about three to five minutes or until everything is really nicely mixed and you want to scrape the sides of your bowl as well as the bottom to make sure everything get mix, gets mixed together. And next, you want to crack in your room temperature egg and it's really important to use room temperature ingredients whenever you're baking. I'm just zesting my lemon and make sure you use an unwaxed citrus fruit or an organic one and you've scrubbed it really clean and I'm just running it really qu rather quickly across my plane for my zester. I don't want to go too too far beneath because the pith is ba rather bitter and that's the white part. And it's a common misconception that the juice is wherein lies all the flavor punch but it's actually the essential oils are living inside of the zest and the skin. So it's really important to use both the zest and the juice. So after I zest this guy, I'm going to cut him open and squeeze in the juice as well. In goes my juice, and I don't want it to be too, too wet, so maybe just half of a lemon, just depending on how juicy your lemon is. And then for the strawberry element and the pink blushing color, I'm going to take a fork and mash my strawberries. Next, we slip in our crushed strawberries, and you want to blend that in together as well. Lastly are our dry ingredients and we can introduce them into thirds into our wet batter which is this big bowl here. So into bowl number one we're adding in our sifted unbleached flour, my fine salt, baking powder, and soda. And I get a lot of questions about unbleached flour versus regular all-purpose. It just means that it hasn't got undergone that chemical bleaching process and I really can't taste a difference. It's just a higher quality grade flour that I really like to work with. And so just mix this in slowly and just make sure you don't over mix because you don't want tough cookies. Next, all I'm doing is much like my snowball cookies that I made for Christmas. I'm just taking my prepared dough, making little cookie dough scoops, and dropping it into my powdered sugar snow to be liberally doused and sprinkled with some powdered sugar. Before I dig in, I wanted to give you guys a little peek. So here are my cooled cookies, and I will open one up to see to show you guys what it looks like in the center. As you can see, it's a very light, fluffy, and soft cookie. Here are my plate of cookies, and I let them cool down just a tad for them to be able to be cool enough to handle and plate them. So let's see how these babies taste. Because aesthetically, I think they're gorgeous with that soft, kind of snowy, crackly crust on the top, and the edges feel crisp, but let's see how the overall cookie tastes. That center is as fluffy as a cloud. There's fresh strawberry studded throughout, but it's accented by that fresh zing of the fresh lemon. Such a delicious cookie, and I hope you guys give it a try and you guys enjoy it too. I wanna to thank you guys for hanging out with me, so don't forget to thumbs up and like and subscribe if you like this video if you wanna see more videos like this. I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me. This is Angela Kim from thesquishymonster.com, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.